Hello and welcome to Amazon Live. We are getting ready for Halloween. I know what you're thinking. Cheryl, it's not time for Halloween yet. Well, it's always time for Halloween. My dog doesn't think so. My dog is a border collie. A sheep dog. And she's thinking, why is there a giant cow in my living room? Yeah. She's not thrilled about my cow today, but I wanted to show you a few things that I have been gathering for Halloween because it is my favorite holiday ever. And so, look at this. I'm trying. I'm trying to move, and I got two dogs in here trying to herd me because they think that's what they're supposed to do. I hope I've got volume on this because it is kind of loud in here, two inflatables. But I know what you're gonna say, Cheryl, there's a scary ghost over here. You're absolutely right. Let me see if I can grab him with my hoof. Look at this. This was sent to me and I absolutely love him. He is adorable. He is coming out of the window. If you had a window, he's got suction cups on him. So you stick him on there. You can adjust how far his head comes out. You've got about three feet. The lights are already on there. So at night, he is super cute. J-Lo, how are you, my heifer? And I'm saying that with love. Trust me. Everybody's happy tonight. I just wish I could have... I'm, I wanted to show you the costume the way it is. But I'm going to be doing a little... A few adjustments with it. Because now that I've had it on and I've been messing with it. And the dogs aren't trying to kill me. I'm going to be adjusting some things and that's why I have alien tape in here tonight because alien tape is going to be your friend when it comes to decorating whether it's Halloween or Christmas let me tell you my hooves are hot it's only 107 here in Las Vegas and I'm in here with this but anyway my ghost friend it has suction cups on it but since I wasn't doing a window tonight and I wanted to blow it up and show you, I used a little bit of alien tape on the suction cups and that is how he is attached to my wall. So that is why I said alien tape is a must. And yeah, I didn't highlight him because I can't highlight him with my hood. Let me see. There we go. But, like I said, lights and everything ready to go. All you got to do is plug him into an outlet. He's got an outlet plug. Um, it's not ran by a USB power bank. It is an actual outlet plug. So think about where you're going to put him. And yeah, he's got three suction cups on the back end. And then he's got a string with a suction cup up high on his head so you can kind of adjust that depending on if you have eaves coming out or you have a tree or something and needing pulled back a little bit that's what i did tonight is i pulled him back just a little bit because we're in limited room with <coughs> my massive weight gain since last week so the alien tape i'm gonna highlight it right here this is what it is. I got a three pack, three 10 foot rolls because you can use it for everything. It is double sided. It also is stretchy. So when you go to cut it, you're gonna need a good pair of scissors because it is kind of gooey. Make sure you put it down right where you want it. But it peels off. So, I have a friend that uses um, alien tape on everything. 
she uses it outside to tape her plants, her vines up to the walls. She also uh, put up some tiles in her kitchen to see if she liked them with alien tape. She has put pictures on walls. She has done all kinds of stuff with it. So it's not just a regular double-sided tape. You can actually pull it slowly and remove it. And so that's one of the things you wanna know is when you go to remove it, just pull it slowly and let it stretch and come off. It's not gonna take, if you do it right, it's not gonna take the paint off your walls or anything else. It's just gonna release as you stretch it. So this is great Halloween decorations, Thanksgiving decorations. Um, I know we have Labor Day coming up before even um, Halloween. Labor Day, I don't get to dress up. Halloween, I do. So get yourself some alien tape. You can use it to put your Christmas decorations up on the walls where you don't want to put in nails. You don't want to put regular tape that might peel. This is what you use. Evans, oh, you love my outfit. Well, thank you very much. I feel, I feel special. I put on a little bit of weight, <coughs> but I'm still feeling pretty good. You ought to see when I, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using this to ride on the scooter. Yeah, I got that scooter. I'm gonna take my cow out and ride my scooter with it. My dogs are going nuts. They, German Shepherd, Border Collie, they think they're supposed to be hurting me and I'm not going anywhere. They're like, no, there is no way we're having a cow in our house. But truly, Halloween is the funnest holiday. So, we've got your friendly ghost, which he really is a nice guy. I know he looks scary and all. But truthfully, he is a sweetheart. He and I have been uh, getting along pretty well. Like I said, he does not run on batteries. He is, you gotta power him. My head keeps sliding back. I'm telling you, I'm gonna fix this with alien tape. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna be doing that later. I just wanted you to see what it, it looked like right out of the box. Hooves and all. Oh, look, I should have got my nails done. I should have got my hooves done. Uh, move over, Amazon. Cheryl is in the top move. That's right, Evan. We are... That German Shepherd almost bit my hoof. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I think I'm going to start wearing this all the time when I go out. I don't care if it's not quite Halloween yet. I'm gonna get it fixed, and then I'm gonna wear it everywhere I go. I'm gonna drive my big old truck. Now, I've told you about the alien tape. I've mentioned my friend, the ghost, because Gina couldn't be here tonight, but I still wanted to do a bit of a stream, and I thought, I had Halloween planned. I'm doing it anyway. Now, where is my <clears throat> I gotta keep taking my hoof off. You have no idea what cows go through. The life of a cow is not as easy as you would think. Let me see here. Um, let me click that. Evan says, will you fit in the truck with that on? You know what? I don't know, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't drive with it. Um, yeah. I, I, I could have had them if I didn't have it inflated. I'm going to tell you about it here in a little bit, how I keep it inflated, because I don't want to run on batteries. Batteries means um, after a couple of hours, you're probably going to be deflated, and that is no fun. You don't want to be deflated. So, I'm going to get to that in a minute. 
Now, I also got something else sent to me. I'm telling you, I am hunting all the Halloween vendors down and saying, help me out. I could do Halloween every night from now until Halloween. If, if I could get enough stuff, this is all I'd ever do. Year round. Oh, Christmas. I do a lot of Christmas. The company that has this does have some Christmas blow-up costumes. Now, I'm going to see if I can get this because I don't have much arm span. All right. This is a trick-or-treat doormat. Look at that. They have, I know of three of them. They've got the kitty cat. They've got a doggy in a ghost costume. And they've got skeletons. So there are those three I know. Now, this is nice and cushy. The sewing around the edges is super duper duper nice. Now I want to show you the back of this. This is the non-skid, non, you know, we're, so it's not going to slide on your porch or on your front door if you put it inside, what have you. I can't grab it with my hoof. Hooves are not very, very easy to work with. But it is really covered with all them little bumps, so it is not going to slide around. I don't know how well the camera is going to do, but... Look at this. Oh. I understand why cows just walk around and eat because that's all there is you can do. But the colors on this are super duper bright. I love them. I think they're grand. Whenever they said, do you want, could, could we send you one? I said, absolutely. I love it. And I told him I didn't care which one they sent, just send one. And when he sent the kitty cat, I was like, oh, it's so cute. I love it. So, oh, so that is your basic doormat. I'm stepping on dogs over here. I'm losing my head. I don't know as I was prepared to do <coughs> a cow live with two inflatables. Yes, Evans, I love that mat. I think it is, it's adorable. You know, it's, to me, it's the kitty one and the puppy one, the doggy one, are cute, but they're Halloween-ish, but they're not creepy. The skeleton one's got just skeletons, and it's not really creepy either. I'm like, I, I just want to say it's been more of a challenge to do a live as a cow than it ever was to do a live as me. For any of you that didn't see me, I got to I gotta bend down or get way back. But I'm about ready to head off to the farm, let me tell you. So. Like I said, we're going to have a short and sweet one tonight. I just wanted to show this stuff. All right. There I highlighted my cow costume. And like I said, for if you're just tuning in, I'm going to be fixing it with my alien tape so I don't get this bubble up here. I could probably adjust it on the head some more um, and see if that would if I could get it to fit better, but when it blows up, it it kind of fills this space. So I need to tuck that up in there. And I think what I'm gonna do, cause I put on a bandana, a wide elastic bandana across my forehead to help hold the elastic for that goes around your face. I swear this thing's getting bigger. I'm short. So it's really filling up and poofing out more. But then that is going to help hold it a little bit so it doesn't slide. Then I'm going to take alien tape and put right up under here. And I think I will be able to tuck this and then tape part of that onto that bandana 
so that it holds it a little bit better and doesn't poof out on the top. So that's what my ideas are. I guarantee before Halloween, we are going to be having another, um, I'll do another stream with this stuff. Hopefully I can get some more costumes and decorations and I'll just do every stream in a Halloween costume. But that's how I'm gonna fix this piece because I, I saw in the comments, in the uh, reviews for it, that is something people would complain about, is it doesn't stay on your head. Well, it'll stay on your head. I just get this poofiness, and I want to be able to tape it to something. I don't want that on my head, so I'm going to tape it to the bandana. My other option is, as you know, I wear baseball hats all the time. I could put on a baseball cap and then tape it maybe to the brim of the baseball cap. So that is another option I have. Yes, Evans, I would love to have different costumes and things every every week. You know, for being so hot, I mean, it's hot, but this isn't too bad because you've got air flowing through it. And for those of you just tuning in, these are mittens that go over your hands if you want them. Trying to cover everything. I know I see people coming in and out. So you can cover your hands. There's also uh, these on your feet. They don't cover your feet, of course, but they're gonna lay on top of your shoes. Now, just so you guys get a little bit of an idea, I'm 5'4", and this, I, I mean, you could be a good bit taller because the crotch of this where the legs meet is at my knees. I, if I, there, I'm still not up all the way. So you could be a good bit taller than me and this would still fit. Oh, Evan says if I wear a red hat, It'll look like her tongue sticking out. I didn't think of that. I was thinking black. <coughs> so this is why I wear these things. So yeah, get a red hat and it would just show a little bit right here, the edge of the brim, and be like her. Where would I be without my peoples? See, that's why I come here. I... And I, I'm so blowed up, I can't see my dog down there, see who's actually nuzzling my feet. But look at these ears. She does have a tail. I can't jump and show you because I'm not that good. But like I was saying, it you can run it on batteries. It has a little battery pack that you can put batteries in and plug in your blower and run it on batteries. Now, my thing is, I know in all the years, because I've done a lot of trunk or treats, where um, a lot of people have had the blow up dinosaurs and things like that, their batteries run out. So this one connects via USB to, let me see if I can grab it. This is the actual battery pack. It plugs in via USB. And then it has a clip so you could clip it to your shorts or your pants or whatever. Now, here's what I did. Instead of running batteries, because I didn't want to have to worry about them running out, I don't want to um, carry around extra batteries, have to take it off, get in there, find this, all that. So what I've done is I've got one of the power packs like you... Uh, use to charge your phone when your power is off and all. I've got that in my pocket and I've got the motor, the blower, plugged into my power pack. I can tell you, I messed around with this the day I got it and it didn't really wear the power pack out too much. I haven't checked how long it will run on what size power pack, but after I get done here, I'm gonna be kind of checking the time and see if it even made a dent. 
this is plugged into the uh, outlet. So I was going to run it on a power pack too, but it's got a plug in. So that's what he's doing. That's why I, I should have put a power pack in here. I run a lot of things on my big power packs. Uh, the 20,000, 30,000 power packs, those are great. I use them for everything, and that's what I'm using. I got the, tonight I'm using the Hen Hot Power Pack, and I've had it in other streams. I've got it on my Amazon page. They are amazing. They hold a lot of power, and I never ran a blow up on one, but here we are testing this stuff out. And like I said, if I, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get any other companies. This costume I bought. I paid for it myself because I wanted it to do, um, like I said, there's a lot of trunk or treats. Then we have, I have that scooter that I got and I want to go out and ride the scooter in my cow costume. So that's another reason I have to fix the head so that it doesn't just blow back. I want to fix it to stay up more so when I ride my scooter, it looks cooler. Um, but if I can, I'll, I'll see about getting some more costumes or some more decorations. I had a Halloween decoration from last year. There's a big blow up and it's so cute that they are no longer, they don't have them anymore. So that kind of ruined that one. But this company that has the, these are Rhythm Arts. I That's how I'm gonna say it. They have pumpkin blow ups, uh, the cow, of course. You can't tell me that ain't the cutest cow you ever saw. Um, they've got a pig, they've got a chicken in like red, white, and blue shorts. Uh, they've got a few other ones. And I'm, I'm feeling kind of chubby. Ooh, that helps the airflow. <clears throat> but they do have different ones. Now, some of them like the, the T-Rexes that you keep seeing all the time, that we've all loved those videos. Those things... Ever since they came out with those costumes, I wanted one because I thought they were so stinking cute. Now, they go over your face and your face looks out a little, a little clear piece of plastic. So, I wanted to get something that covered my face, but here is the thing. When I do, if I'm going to ride my scooter, if I'm going to do car shows for the big trunk or treats, I need a field of vision better than what you can get in when this is all covered with plastic. You have to turn your whole body to see because you only have this field of vision right here. And so that's why I opted for the face cutout is so that I had at least a much broader range of vision and so if you're looking for something you're going to wear out where being able to see like if you're going with your kids you don't want this vision because you're not going to be able to see them if they move around so you might want to look at one where your face is cut out so that you do have that option of looking around and being able to see a whole lot more or if you're going to be walking with the kids trick-or-treating and there's traffic you don't want that limited field of vision <clears throat> or maybe you don't want them to have that limited field of vision and you're going to want them to do something more along these lines so that they're a little bit safer and I wish I had fixed this before I started, but I wanted you to know what you're getting, and I wanted to share ideas with you on how I'm going to fix it, Then Evans gives me some more ideas on how to fix it. I mean, 
it's cute. It just, because it's a blow up and it's made for different size people, of course, you're going to have to do your own adjustments on it. I think that is just um, a give me right there. You're going to have to. They can't make everything fit for everybody. <coughs> I wonder if I can drink my coffee. I made coffee. I don't know why. Oh, look. A cow drinking coffee out of a Three Bears cup. It's not like you get to see this every day on Amazon Live. Seriously. I'm going to guess I'm the first half out this year. I didn't want to be beat. Any other cows out there, we should get together, do a live stream, all of us cows together. Or if you've got, I don't know, pigs, sheep, other animals, we could do a farm stream. I'm up for it. I don't know if you are, but I sure as heck am. But <laughs> if you got questions, put them in the chat, and I'll try to I'll try to answer them for you. Whether it's about this or about my cute doormat or the alien tape. I'm sorry, Mister. He kind of thinks I'm in his way. He was the biggest thing in the room for quite a while, and now I'm in his way. But I'd love to have y'all hit that follow button. You never know what you're going to see when you come on live. Like I said, Gina could not be here tonight. I had already had this plan, but I was going to surprise her with the cow. Um, then she couldn't make it, so I said, whatever. I'm going anyway. Thank you, Robert. I am having a blast with my cow. I think it's adorable. I just feel like a little bloated though. I'm thinking I'm going to have to start a diet. Cows only eat grass and I don't know how I got so big. There you go. We got hooves. Those is what make me really hot, those hooves. Oh, holy moly's. But like I said, I am I am going to be looking for more Halloween costumes and things like that. Um, any kind of Halloween decorations because it is my favorite as holiday. I've got my, uh, let me make sure I got it right, my alien tape so I can... I can get everything put together and decorate. I've got a friendly ghost, a doormat, and a cow. What more do you need in life? But I said it was going to be a short stream. We've been on half an hour, and so I am going to go ahead and call it good. For one, I think I'm sweating to death. I think I'm melting in here. Um, I have on uh, shorts and just a, a little, uh, like a sports top. And it's warm, but it's also, I'm in Las Vegas where it's warm anyway. And if you weren't here when I mentioned it, I am running this via a power pack and the, the blower plugs in uh, with a USB. So I'm not using any of the batteries not yet. We're going to see how this power pack holds up. And it is, I'm 5'4", but it is big enough to fit someone much taller because where the legs meet at the crotch is right at my knees. So, if I bring it up more to my, my crotch area, I still could be a lot, lot taller. See? So, I'm not sure exactly what the height is that it does, but I'm short. I'm on the short side. You could probably get a lot taller than this. Um, Robert says, we do trunk or treat. One of us could 
be the farmer and the other be a farm animal. Yes. See, that's, I've got a friend and I would love to get her like a, uh, one of those where it's a blow up and it looks like you're riding a horse because I think that would be cute. She could be, you know, riding the horse, put a cowboy hat on, and then I could be the cow. And I would get out my scooter and go 25 miles an hour so she couldn't catch me. <coughs> she has no idea I, I, I'm planning all this. She'll be like, I'm doing what? Hey, it's for a video. You got to do it, okay? Oh, but yeah, they do have, from this company, they have the pig. I know they got a pig and I think a chicken and then the cow. Um, so yeah, you could go as, heck, get all your friends and family to dress like farm animals. Then you don't have to behave. So when you're, when, when someone says, oh my God, were you raised in a barn? Say, yes. Can't you tell? Oh my gosh. I'm having fun. And I can't wait till next week because here's hoping I can find some more Halloween stuff. I, I am hoping by the time Halloween comes here, I will have so much Halloween stuff. I will look like the Griswolds for Halloween. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to see. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you tune in next week. Share this with your friends and say, you know what? We all need a, we need a cow costume. We need a blow-up ghost for our window because he's going to go outside on the window and hopefully scare all the neighbor children. He's even got claws. Look at that. Um, Pudgy. What is this mountain? Well, Pudgy, did you read the, read the thumbnail? Halloween's coming. I'm getting ready for Halloween. <coughs> I know a lot of you all are getting ready for maybe Labor Day. You've just had kids go back to school. Maybe you're thinking along those lines. Come on now, move along. Move along. We got Halloween, which is a lot better. I know at the Lowe's, they are, they, they've had their Halloween stuff out for, at least the Lowe's here, has had their Halloween stuff out for a few weeks already. And so... I, I'm kind of late compared to them. Um, Pudgy says, no, just got in Florida, traveled nine hours. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm not traveling. I'm not going very far in this. I probably could wear down to get my mail down the street. I kind of walk like a cow in this. Yeah, my sheep dog is... Yeah. I, sh I could have got a sheep and taken her with me wherever I go. But I haven't seen a sheep costume. I will be looking, though. So, oh, wait. I can't wave goodbye without my hooves on. <sighs> Next week, whether I wear a Halloween costume or not, y'all got to tune in. And you got to wear your Halloween costume. Because that's all we're going to do from now on. I've just decided. So y'all have a great weekend. Hope to see you next week at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, here on Amazon. And you never know what we're going to have. It may not be uh, cows, but... I'll think of something. I've, I've got a house full of stuff, just not as fun as this. So y'all have a good one, and we will see you next week. 
Good night, Evans. Good night, Pudgy. Good night, Robert and JLo. Thanks for stopping in to my little spooky farm.